Hello YouTube, welcome to an Epic Engagement Productions video. Um, in this episode I will be showing you how to install the mod Tree Capitator. If you haven't noticed this little pattern, I'm installing all of the mods which I have in my single player let's play. Um, yeah, like I said I would. So, yeah, and also not just how to install it, but um, also how to thing the jig. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, how to configure a few of the settings to make it a bit easier. So, what you will want to do is you want to download Tree Capitator from this link, and you also want Mod Loader. Um, both of these links will be in the description as usual with all my mods, mod installations. Um, so, what you will want is. Sorry, wait a second, I have my mod over on my desktop from when I was installing the Zeppelin mod. Oh crap, I opened this. Oh man, I can hear it just lagging out. There we go, that's better. Let's drag Zeppelin more back in. So you want to open up your mod loader. Let it do stuff. Um, now you want to do you want to get in your Minecraft directory by going into start menu, typing in percent sign at data percent, then pressing enter. Now here you click in dot Minecraft. Then you want to go into bin, open this with WinRAR 7 zip, so you will need an archiving program. Uh, they both do the same WinRAR and 7 zip, it does not matter. Uh, now you just need to simply drag and drop all of the files from Mod Loader into your Minecraft.jar. Let it do that. Then you want to open up your tree capitator. Um, this. Drag all them in. Okay. Then once you've done that, you want to start up your Minecraft to test it's still working. So log in. <coughs> So then you want to go into a world, I just have this one, this is from when I was showing you the uh, uh, Zeppelin mod. Oh, inventory, change it to hard. Okay, so, oh wow. So what you want to do do is get some sort of axe um, and I fly over to where these trees are. I'm not sure whether it works in creative. Hopefully it does. Yep. And hit one block. I think it's any block. Yep, any block and it all falls down. Now you might notice that the leaves don't disappear. Now I'm going to show you how to change that. You need to quit out your Minecraft for a start, um, <coughs> and don't need them. You go back into your Minecraft directory, go into config, and mod tree capitator. Now, these things, this, this bit basically just explains what these things do. So, log hardness, um, you can modify that, how fast it destroys, so I usually make it down to 2. ID list. Now this is which blocks can, or which items can make the trees fall down like that. And now here, destroy leaves. If you want to make the leaves go down, um, set that to true, no capitals, no spaces, um, and then just file and save. You can change any of these other things as well. So then you start up your Minecraft. <coughs> I'll just 
just like so. Now, if I go into it, and now if I use it on a tree, voila, it drops the, destroys the leaves and it also drops the saplings and sometimes apples. Let me see if I can get an apple to a tree, but it does drop the apples. Yeah, you don't get as many saplings or apples, obviously, but it's a lot quicker. Come on, where are the apples? Where are the apples? The apples. The apples. Ah, I'm on a tree murdering rampage! Ah, there, finally an apple. Oh, oh that might picked up. Oh well. So you get the idea. You can modify with a few of those other settings. But yep, yeah, that's this tutorial done with. So I will see you guys next time and I hope it was useful to you. Okay, so bye guys.